I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to the road to glory. It is the, uh, the, the day of the week that I have forgotten what to do at the start of these videos. Let's continue, let's just roll on. I, d I didn't have controller turned on, I didn't have the game selected, I, I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, uh, time of week where we get our foot champs rewards. Only gold three this week uh, because I stopped due to time. It always is with me, isn't it? It's time. Uh, sold a few things, which is nice. Only yeah, have quite a few silvers left to sell, actually. Uh, went through doing a few of the... Uh, still got loads to do, but I did a few of those upgrades. Uh, silvers into uh, into golds. Uh, because you get the... What is it? I did a load of those bronze upgrades. You'd have seen me do that in the last episode. Only a couple. Uh, but I did like 30 of them. You only saw me do a couple. And I was obviously... Every time I got a duplicate, I'd swap it around and send it to the transfer list. Started listing some of those last night, as you saw, only sold two. Maybe I priced them too high, maybe I listed them too late, whatever. Going to relist those and see what happens. I've got loads of off-league silvers to use, so I'm going to do that. I finished La Liga again, uh, which I didn't realise how close I was. It cost me about 15, 20k, so that was quite nice. Picked up Avia. He is going to go into an SBC. I don't know what SBC because I don't know why I just eg exited the SBCs either. Uh, I don't know what SB don't know what SBC is going to go into because I'm not doing this absolute waste of time, complete and utter garbage deluxe team of the season guys. I'm not doing it again. I don't care. Um, I'm not doing it. I will do the rest of the world because an 82 rated team for that is definitely well worth a punt for potentially packing the likes of Orsic or is it Cecina? The, the Brazilian. And then, of course, David. Now, David is actually one of the players that I want from red picks. Now, obviously, if I could choose, like, hand pick them, I would hand pick two ultimate um, cards. And, and, and they would probably be, you know, they wouldn't be Hummels or Sommer or any other goalkeeper for that matter. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what EA decide to, uh, to treat me with. But, um, yeah, if I could hand pick... If I could handpick a rest of the world player, it wouldn't be Orsic. It would be Jonathan David. So we'll have to see what we get in red picks in just a second. I'm doing this and haven't really looked at rating. I know I need 82, but I've not looked at... Um, I've not been taking that into consideration. I've just been sort of chucking in Spanish and French players who are below the rating that I need. Let me just throw those two in at the end and see if that's enough. I do. I do need a... Right wing, right mid, right sided something. Uh, what do we have here? See, I'll just chuck Rafina in there and see what happens. That's an 81 rated team. Uh, well, well, good for Kem. So that's not bad. I just go down and see if there's anything here that we want to get rid of. After I open rewards, I do have a considerable number of packs to open as well. Obviously, rival rewards as well as, um, as well as a few other things dotted around the place from league SBCs, obviously completing the Spanish league and such. I do have a few things here or there pack-wise to open. Is that going to be enough? That's not enough. Is I don't really want to be giving up like 83s, but then on the other hand, do I really care? I don't know. Let's see if that's enough. Chemistry-wise, I can afford to lose nine more chem. Is that enough? No, that's not enough either. So now I'm bang on for chemistry. Is that enough? Nope. Oh, this is annoying. 82 for 17. Right, that's enough, but I'm too chem off. No, oh, it's it's just typical, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it so? There we go. Boom. Done. A uh, bunch of fodder. 283s. I actually bought Ava Benega yesterday for 2,000 coins. I thought I was going to need him for Sevilla. Turns out, didn't need him for Sevilla in the end because I had enough of everything else and I managed to get another uh, card for 700 coins um, in terms of like money uh, I am maybe 30k down on on where you saw me last and that is me completing La Liga uh, me doing another uh, couple of packs of Sudamericana and something else I did as well maybe a couple of packs for something else I can't remember what it was but we do have 14 packs in total 
Just sold another two things. Those silvers do end up selling. It's just the time of day that you list them. We'll do a couple of packs here, and then we'll go and open the red picks. I just want to... There's like there's like a one rare player pack and, and, and a couple of like 5Ks or something. We'll just get rid of those, leave some juicy packs, and then go pick up uh, weekend league rewards. While I open these, though, like I said, from... From rest of the world, Jonathan David, Orsic, Cecina, and Eduard are the only four, realistically, that you're looking for. So in terms of red picks, any one of those in the red picks would be nice. In terms of the ultimate team of the season, <clears throat> I've got it in front of me because I wasn't actually sure what was in the ultimate team of the season because EA haven't tweeted it out once. And you can't find it in-game, which is hilarious, right? So... I had to go look for it and because I didn't know who was in it. Let me just discard him because he's only selling like 400 coins anyway. Uh, I, I would like to avoid Hummels. Realistically, I'd like to avoid Oblak. And I would like to avoid Sommer. But apart from that, like Trent would actually be a good one. Trent's not expensive, by the way. I didn't realize how cheap Trent was. He's 160k, which is crazy. For a 95 rated Premier League team of the season to be 160k, that's mad. So, wouldn't mind Jordan Henderson, wouldn't mind Trent. Trent would go straight into the team. Jordan Henderson would be a nice pick. I don't know if he would go straight into the team. That's banging. Catalyst is good as well. I don't need that, so I'm just going to list it for 5k. Uh, Catalyst should be, yeah, about 3k as well. I never use Catalyst, so we might as well just get rid of that for 3k. That is a nice 8,000 coins. From that pack. Don't mind if I do. Um, what else would be useful to me? And I don't want Immobile either. I, I forgot Immobile was in it. So I packed Immobile yesterday on my main account from the Deluxe. And I thought, well, bit of a stinker. Didn't realise he was actually part of the ultimate team of the season. Uh, so, I mean, I probably would have mentioned that had I known. But like I said, I didn't have a clue. Ideally... From the ultimate, you want one of the big boys. You know, the Neymars, the Mbappes and... Uh, Messi, Ronaldo, even lower would be would be nice. Oh, you can't. I mean, that's untradeable. But yeah, it's nice. Um, I don't know what I want really. I, I really, I genuinely don't. I mean, Van Dyke, I suppose. Like Van Dyke would be ideal. Like he's one of those big, you know, the, like one of the big boys as well. One point nine mil. I. But as as for as good as the ultimate team of the season is, I mean. If you look at the unrealistic... I mean, I obviously, I'm going to have to tell you which ones are the... Uh, the unrealistic ones are obviously the 99 rated cards. And then Mbappe and Neymar are unrealistic as well because they're both 98. This is... If I'd finished, like, Gold 1 or Elite or something, then, yeah, fine, fair enough. You could be saying, well, I think they are realistic. I don't know why I just sold him. I should have kept him. That was a stupid thing to do as far as I'm concerned. Because uh, I would imagine I'm going to need my raise later tonight. So that was stupid. Uh, uh, yeah, Sancho, I suppose, actually, would be a very, very good one. Sancho would be insane, actually, thinking about it, because he is, of course, English, and that would give a soft link into Ings, and I could play him just on 7 chem. Ings gets full chem anyway, so that would be that would be nice. We're going to do it now, though. We're going to open our gold three. We're going to get another shot at the... Oh, it's two mega packs. I thought it was one. We're going to get another shot at the ultimate team of the season because if you didn't know they have said that this upcoming weekend league the rewards are the same so ultimate team of the season and rest of the world are the picks for this upcoming weekend so we are going to get another shot i am going to hopefully try and ma manage my time better and finish at least gold two i would like to push on and, and use as many games as i can and see how far we can go but the problem i have is is just time so i want bare minimum gold two this weekend we'll see we'll see uh let's open the first one <laughs> yes get in that is perfect you could not get any more perfect than that so i said Trent would go straight into the team, and I meant it. He is going in. Now, if I can get Van Dyke in the next one, please, EA. Those two picks are absolute garbage. That, though, I don't know what it is with Liverpool red picks on my account. It's like the game knows I want them, right? So, yeah, I wouldn't mind Van Dyke. Mane would be okay, although he wouldn't really. I'd have to play him off chem at uh, right wing. 
Uh, but to be honest, it, it really, it really doesn't matter what I get here. I know he's only a hundred and whatever it is. He's 160 on PC. I don't know what he is on console. He's probably like four pence on console. He's 130, 125 on, on console. Uh, on, yeah, on console. So I know it's not one of the, the big boys. I know a lot of people would be like, oh, I'm not even that bothered. That is one that I wanted. It goes into the team. I'm very happy about it. The second pick we get is... 96 or black. I mean, I can't complain with that at all, can I? Let's be honest with each other. A 96 team of the season and a 95 team of the season. All black doesn't get into the team, unfortunately. So it is quite literally a bit of fodder there. But I am very, very pleased. I mean, that is gold three. I would be very interested to see the average of what people were getting. But you, you played to gold two and you guarantee yourself an ultimate pick. Now, I know that I only had one ultimate pick in each pick, but I still got two. And I know there are going to be people out there who do gold three and they don't get any ultimate picks and they have the, the most trash rest of the world going. But I am very, very happy with that. And I've always been quite lucky with my gold, uh, gold three. I've never really had two terrible gold three picks. And that is a much needed improvement over the 88 player of the month trend who can now by the way go into an SBC because we have the 95 isn't it a little bit mad that we have team of the season Robertson untradeable we have now got a red uh Trent and uh we have that um yeah those from rewards I don't know what are the I've got Wijnaldum from Liverpool who is a let me, let me have a look at this. Uh, let me, let me, let me, hello. I know he's, I know he's there, right? But let me just go like that and just see what I've actually got. So I packed, no, I didn't. I bought him, did I? Yeah, I bought Shirovella, never mind. So I've packed him, obviously. Pa uh, I did the SBC for him. I did get Vinaldum, but I gave him up. Uh, he, he was red. We've obviously got, um, we obviously have... Robertson, who is uh, untradeable as well, and there's an Oxley Chamberlain, but I mean, you can earn him. So we've done quite well with Liverpool players this year. But there we go. That is a just perfect upgrade. I am very happy with that. Now, in terms of the rest of the team, apart from packing Van Dyke, or uh, I would say Carver Hall would be a decent one because Carver Hall could actually go in at centre back instead of Saul. But there is no La Liga defender. In fact, there's only two centre backs, or there are only two centre backs, available in the entire Ultimate Team of the Season, which in my opinion is a little bit wrong. I think it should be at least three centre backs because, you know, not everyone is looking for a striker. Not everyone is looking for an attacker. Now, obviously, it's nice to get an attacker. Of course it is, but you know what I mean. We've got a lot of fodder in this club now with that 88 Trent, that that um, Avia as well. There goes the Catalyst and Danny Olmo. We're up to 815,000 coins with packs to open. Got a couple of um, 35Ks. Got a couple of... I, got, I think I got 150K. Yeah, three 35Ks, all tradable. Uh, yeah, I don't know what rival rewards were. I didn't look. I just took tradable. And I don't know what packs I got from League SBCs because, again, I was just rinsing through them as quickly as I could. There are three new cards available through League SBC as well. Uh, one of which is the... Oh, hello. He could be worth big. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm not doing the Italian League again. Uh, I'm doing uh, Libertadores Sudamericana and I might run through Spain again because it's not actually expensive to do. Mallorca is the only expensive team in Spain. And the packs you get back... I say the only expensive team. Obviously, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico can be expensive. Of course they can. But chances are you are going to have a couple of those cards in your club. And if you don't, you can pick them up along the way. So they're not too bad. Especially Barca and Real Madrid. They don't actually require you to use a full squad. You only need five from each team. So you can get away with that. In most cases, I will just store all this in the club and I'll have a look through my silvers. I'm going to go through every league that I don't plan on completing again. And I'm going to just sell them off because at the end of the day, if I'm not going to do them, why am I keeping the, the silvers that could be worth five or six K in the club? There's just no need for it. 
I don't care about anything in these packs, to be honest. If I get something awesome, I'm going to be happy about it. But I don't need anything here. We've picked up that Trent. I'm more than happy with that. That improves the team so much. Because I, I did mark him as a weakness. I said to you yesterday, Juan Bissaka could be the player that comes in. Only because I thought Juan Bissaka would be cheaper than... Oh, hello, we got a board here. Only because I thought Juan Bissaka would be cheaper than Trent's team of the season. But maybe he isn't, actually. If Trent is only 160k on PC, then I'm guessing Juan Bissaka is going to be more expensive. Juan Bissaka, in my opinion, in this game anyway, is better than Trent. So that's why I think he might be more expensive. Yeah, he's well, he's actually about the same price, to be fair. So anyway, I've, I've saved 160k by getting that red Trent. That, and I'm I'm more than happy to have him over Wan Bissaka. It really doesn't bother me which. Like I said, I do think Wan Bissaka is probably better in this game because he's better suited to the game because he's got that. I think he's got a lean body type. He does, um, and he's got really good agility. He's unbelievably quick. Just, just a good card, really. But, um... 95 Trent. I don't know what to do with that Oblak. I could probably put him in there on lower chem. It's the same with Ter Stegen, right? I could use Ter Stegen, but he would be off chem. But De Gea just doesn't really put a foot wrong. Not once that weekend just gone I, did I concede a goal and then blame De Gea for it. So... I think I'm just going to stick with De Gea, who's on full chem. And, uh, and either give the other two up in SBCs or keep them there for if we do end up changing back into... I'm going to keep this if it's... Yeah, I'm going to keep that because I'll keep the rares because I've got a feeling they're going to release premium upgrades that are going to require rares. Let me do the rare gold pack, which is obviously a 25k. Uh, no board out of this. They, these packs have not been great. One board so far and it was... Uh, Cavalio, I think, which is not great, of course. Valencia, who doesn't sell for an awful lot because he's one of those um, Libertadores cards that you just never use because he just doesn't link into anything. Let me keep that again. Uh, what do we have here? So half a 50k pack, an actual 50k pack, three mega packs, and my rest of the world. Let's do the rest of the world because unless we get, like I said, Orsic, Cecina, Jonathan David is the one I really want. If I see the Canada flag, we've had a very good day. Oh, that doesn't even look like the Canada flag in the slightest. <laughs> there was a hint of red there, and that was about it. So it is our Norwegian friend, Wolf Eikrum, uh, who, to be fair, doesn't look terrible, but will never get used. He will go into something. I'm hoping EA drop a... I mean, to be fair, that's not a bad card, is it? It's not great, but his, his pace is a little bit on the low side. But if you did end up using him as maybe a center mid in a 4231 what is he sir maybe a bit too tall for that but no, i don't know it's, it's trash that's bit it's never going to get used um mega pack one everything's tradable here everything so i I've, i'm happy about that even if we can just get some fodder some tradable fodder no team of the season no walkout but it is a board which is something i suppose don't be Carvajal, cavalio even right mid it's gonna be pizzy yeah yeah, if, if they... I'm really hoping that they drop an ultimate team of the season pack tonight. We've had two deluxes in a row. Nobody's happy about it. The community, the FIFA community in particular, are very annoyed at what EA have done over not just team of the season in general, but in particular, ultimate team of the season. The whole community, myself included, are annoyed that EA just don't want to listen to what we want. And I made a video about it this morning. I mentioned it in 6 o'clock content yesterday. No board in this 35k pack, of course. Uh, but so it would be really nice if they said, look, you know, here's an ultimate pack. If Even if it's, I mean, I would say even if it's like high rated, that I'd be happy. But I, I wouldn't, obviously. But I would indulge in it. You know, unless it's, unless it's 500k, I would indulge and I would go for it. And probably end up packing a duplicate Trent because that's what we tend to do on this account. But um, it, hopefully we get an ultimate because... Oh, God alive, really, EA? Because I, w I would like another sh a shot at maybe getting Van Dyke, because that would be the dream. Not that he would be on full chem, but it would be really nice. Uh, so, you know, a bunch of fodder, nothing nothing great here. 
just list this up for the bare minimum because he's not going to sell. Same for Abubakar. It always seems to be the case, though, I think. If you get decent reds, well, if I get decent reds, my packs tend to be terrible. If my reds are like, meh, I will get something in a pack to make up for it. I've had a good red that I'm happy with, therefore the packs are just obviously going to be trash. We'll do the small rare gold, and then we'll do the 50k. Not expecting anything from either of them. We do get a board in this, which is a nice novelty. It's not a walkout. Uh, and we end up getting Portugal again. CM. Uh, this time it's going to be João Moutinho. He actually sells for 7,000 coins. And I know that because I've only just sold one. So I'm very happy about that. In fact, he might even have gone up a little bit now. But now I'll take 7k for him. I mean, an 84 worth 7,000 coins, you have to sell him. Like, it's just... It, I just in what situation am I going to not want to take 7,000 coins there? And a tradable 50k pack to end things. Very pleased with my rewards. Let me know what you got in yours, of course. There is probably still time for you to have recorded yours and send me the clips on Twitter, whether it be via Dropbox, you upload them to YouTube and send me the link for that, or you send me a Twitter video, whatever you want, if you want them featured in tonight's six o'clock video link for my twitter is down below by the way let's get no board in this 50k pack i just they've not been good to me 50k packs all year round we do get a board hello can we get a team of the season please yeah it's not it's a you wafer champions league uruguay center back is going to be godin 88 rated fodder i don't mind that it would have been nice had it been a blue like a, a proper blue but um bit of fodder i won't complain at that little cheeky 86 dangler no no, no nothing of the sort how much does he sell for he sells for about thirty thousand coins which mm, i'll keep him for now because i do want to do alan i do want to do mertins and maybe over time i'll want to do militao as well so i do have a lot to do sbc wise so we'll keep that and we'll keep those as well because they'll do for a few upgrades probably later tonight. But there we go. Those were the rewards. Nothing too crazy in terms of the packs. In fact, the packs were absolutely dreadful apart from that Godin right at the end. Uh, but we do now have a 95 rated team of the season Trent to improve on that player of the month. So not bad at all. I am relatively pleased. Oh no, Van Dyke would be on Kem, wouldn't he? I kept thinking I had to stay getting goal. Yeah, no, yeah, if, if I did, if they did drop an ultimate tonight and we got Van Dyke out of it, which is not going to happen, but hey, if we did, then he does actually fit that, that team with full chem. So there we go. I know a lot of people might be saying, why don't you do this? And I'm not necessarily opposed to that. It's just I've got so many people out of position that it lowers the team chem down to 93 whereas that takes it up to 100 and i know there's not an awful lot of difference but it, when you've got like one or two players off chem that's fine when you've got four or five players off chem that's when things start to go a little bit ugh, don't like it so if we can get uh mertens for example that puts um lozano on chem and then maybe i would entertain robertson in there instead of gomez but uh, until we can sort out the chemistry I won't be, I won't be um, indulging in that. But uh, even if I don't manage to get anything else done before weekend league, I don't mind going into weekend league with that. I just wanted a improvement, and I think Saul at centre back is going to be a big improvement. And I think that 95 Trent instead of the 88 is going to be a big improvement as well. So I'm very happy about the upgrades. Hopefully I can get maybe either Allen or Mertens done before the weekend league starts, but we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, let me know what you've got in your rewards. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.